خب اسٹیک ہولڈرس تھیمس آپ وتھ پلینس ٹو میٹیکیٹ دی ہیپاٹائٹس ای آؤٹ بریک ان دی امائیکا ریجن A committee of officials representing different sectors formed to fight the outbreak of hepatitis E in the region. After a number of hepatitis E cases were confirmed by the Ministry of Health and Social Services, various tasks were allocated to different institutions to carry out the short-term emergency plan of action to fight the outbreak. We have an outbreak that we confirmed from the 14th of January. and the cases have ever since been increasing of hepatitis E. Our cases are coming from informal settlements of Kobabes and we find that some groups of people or populations like the pregnant women are more at risk or if they get the disease, the progress or the, what we call the prognosis, they don't do very well. Hepatitis E is a sickness which causes yellow eyes. It also causes pain in the stomach. It causes vomiting, nausea, and diarrhea. The person also gets dark urine, or the stools become pale, the color. So if you see somebody with these symptoms, there are symptoms for the signs and symptoms for hepatitis E, and they should be seen at the hospital or at the clinic. What is important is that our people should know that this disease, there is no treatment, and it is important to prevent the infection. If you are not sure of your water source or if you are using an open water source, it is important that you acquire or you get uh, water purification tablets or boil the water before you drink or use the water. The ministry has such and you can contact the, the clinics or the hospitals, you will be uh, provided with the water purification tablets. Uh, hepatitis E is transmitted when somebody in, ingests or eats infected uh, food or drink infected water when they do not wash hands properly after visiting the toilet or before eating. So it is very important that we wash our hands before we prepare food, before we eat, after we visit the toilet and make it a habit to regularly wash our hands with clean water and soap. The team of committee members carried out a door-to-door -door educational visit on the disease in the Epako informal settlement and in the same visit distribute the water purification tablets. Okay. We've made an estimation of uh, one, one liter per person per day of drinking water. So what we worked out is for this, for 40 pills of, uh, in a household of less than 10 people that should last for, for more than two weeks. And then we check after two weeks if, if, if the outbreak is, is reducing or is it still the same or is it still going up and then, then we can do a, another second round. The hepatitis E disease is mostly associated with poor hygienic conditions linked to a shortage of water and therefore maintaining quality standards for public water supplies and establishing proper disposal system for human feces was the main concern. And to date, new temporary toilets and water supply facilities were installed around the affected areas. To the same fight, NAM water offices in Khobabis carried out a water testing activity where samples were collected from different water points in town to make sure the water is fit for human consumption. It was confirmed the water is 
most of the water is group A and B, which is suitable for human consumption. Apart from the one we collected from that open pit, the valve, they, they definitely that one failed. In the last meeting chaired by the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Kabongo, the number of hepatitis E cases in the region seemed to be increasing and he urged the community to adopt to a clean and hygienic environment. Reporting for NBC, Matilde Kulo,